hi guys very good evening to you uh, so this is our uh, today uh, we gonna deal with the situation uh, which was shared by one of my students he uh, sent out this email to me and uh, he wanted uh, the solution of this problem uh, which is quite uh, simple and at the same time is quite tricky as well you know this I generally cover in my basic excel trainings so you can uh, have a look at it and I'm sure if uh, the person who wrote me this email if he's watching it he would actually get the benefit out of it so he says uh, he has given me this data sample and he has some numbers like this separated by the commas so what he actually wants to do is he want this output uh, to be you know something like this we have numbers in the downward direction with no commas you know everything has to be very neat and clean like this you know and so on so uh, how can you achieve this uh, you know it's a very simple task actually uh, either you can use some formulas but I'll not go into the formula because generally uh, you know when you can uh, get the output by using simple uh, methods you really don't have to you know go to the next level right so what we're gonna do is uh, we simply select the cell now selecting this cell is the first and the foremost thing which you're supposed to do select the cell and then go to the data tab and go to the text to column right if you go to the text to column uh, popper will appear and it has basically the two options so you need to select this delimit you can also select this fixed width which is not a basically uh, you know uh, I, I'm not gonna discuss about this fixed width I'll discuss it uh, maybe in some another chapter but this is especially about the delimit <coughs> delimited option so you select the delimited option and then go to the next and you know you see all the options are available here now your data is segregated by the comma so you see you can't uh, select this tab you know uh, un uncheck this and come to the semicolon no I don't want it and here you see it, it has actually comma so I'll check this the moment I'll check this you know this will be actually separated by the comma so because separated this comma is my you know um, um, separate point or you can say a delimiter you know you see this delimiter we call them the delimiters as well had it been space uh, maybe you would have the uh, you would have got the data something like this 12 space 13 space 34 space 55 and so on you know then you would have instead of checking this you would have checked basically the space option so these are the options available there so I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna quickly go to the next and then finish Wow see it has separated all the elements one by one you know which was separated actually by the comma sign so what you need to do is now in order to get this in a you know put this in a downward direction uh, so what you're gonna do is you just copy this entire you know I have just copied this control C is a shortcut key in case if you are not aware and then I'll go to the paste special option which is alt E S that's the shortcut key and then press value and then click on the transpose so transpose function what it does is is a very nice feature which is given by the Microsoft it actually converts rows into column and columns into rows so I'm gonna click this OK and you see bingo you have the data you know this is how you actually wanted your data so let me quickly tell you the shortcut keys this is alt E plus S this is for the paste special and you, uh, so alt E S means you don't have to basically press the plus sign right don't do this alt and then look for the plus sign which means that look for this you know the key which has a this plus sign uh, just uh, you know in front of the backspace uh, this is actually what my laptop says I don't know where it is in your this uh, laptop or the desktop but you don't have to plus this is basically the combination you need to press alt key E and S together and you'll get that paste special window in case if you forget the option not a problem you just copy this and you come here in the home you know tab and then go to the paste and you have this you know all the options here paste uh, formula and formula and so on you know this I'll discuss in separate chapter and I also uh, you know uh, basically provide these all uh, good options in my training I educate my people who want to really really make a career in the Excel so this is how you can even do this you know that's here the transpose option so you can do it but I would strongly suggest you to use the shortcut keys because if you want to be a master in Excel you should know you know some basic uh, shortcut keys it not only saves your time but it is also you know helps you basically uh, when you work on a huge huge data it always helps you in shuffling the data from one point to the other you know through the shortcut keys all right so similarly you have a shortcut key uh, here as well uh, for this uh, basically text to column let me write this for you and this is a shortcut key which is uh, which is available you know from 2003 Excel 2003 right now Microsoft is over the 2013 and uh, uh, you know the Excel sheet which I'm working on is 2010 but it is still you know working on all the conditions and the shortcut key is it let me show you the example first 
let me write some stuff here okay something like this now let me select this which is the most important step the first step and instead of now going to the uh, data in the text to column you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press alt D E alt plus D plus E and the same pop-up will come and then I can actually go in the next and next and finish you know so this is a shortcut key for you in case if you're not aware then please alt plus D plus E right you have to select the cell and then alt D E bingo it's quite simple right so this is how uh, with the help of this transpose function uh, which is a paste special uh, paste special uh, that's the shortcut key alt ts and with the help of this uh, text to column you know you can actually get this output now before i wrap up i just want to add some one more information uh, which you may you know come across uh, in your day to day life when you work on the excel uh, suppose you have a data something like this now this time it is separated by the hash right it could be dollar it could be anything right so how will you achieve this select this text to column delimited I'm keeping this as it is and here now this is not gonna work see this is the preview this is not doing any you know justice to this data so I'm gonna uncheck this and obviously I don't have any dollar hash sign over here you know so what I can do is I can put this other I can check mark this and I can put this hash right Wow can you see that it has automatically you know the moment you uh, put in this hash it has actually separated that data so that's a preview uh, just to basically uh, you know uh, uh, give you a look that whether you are comfortable with this whether you want this kind of output or not right so I'm quite okay with that this looks very nice so I can press F uh, finish or I can even go to the next and then I can finish see that's the option right and similarly if you want this to be paste it like this go to all TS paste special and transpose right so similarly if you want this now this data in a you know different direction in the horizontal direction just copy this and again paste this paste special go to the paste special and this is again click on the transpose and you'll get this option right it works both ways so I hope uh, you like this session and uh, you have gained something today and uh, you'll be able to now uh, you know uh, basically whatever wherever you got stuck um, person who wrote me ac actually this email he will be happy to see this that you know how easy it can be done all right guys so i'll talk to you soon and uh, yes in case if you want to uh, start the excel training uh, and the visual basic for the application which is the macro yes definitely you can reach out to me at my email id which is ajay k a to one numeric at the rate gmail.com and don't forget to watch my this video which is a demo video right uh, this is a demo video basically which I have uh, launched uh, you know recently and that's a, a 30 minutes of a video which talks about my entire program from the advanced Excel to the VBA and uh, it will have all the you know uh, basically the the stuff which can actually give you an idea that you know what all I cover in my trainings right so see you guys uh, that's the window basically you know you can watch it on the YouTube just I was just actually sharing it with you and it's uh, it's gonna be a 28 minutes of the video let me know about it in case uh, if you feel that you know I have missed something or maybe your feedback is always welcome all right then take care and have a good day